Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Yes, it's me again, hello. In today's uh, video it's, it's going to be all some hints and tips that I've picked up over my 50 plus years of, of engineering, um, milling, turning and drilling. So I hope that you'll find some little, something in here that uh, you didn't know about and, and, and turn it to good use. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, please subscribe, click the like, ring the bell, send me a comment and uh, enjoy the video. So until next time, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well and happy and I'll catch you on the next one. Please enjoy. Bye. Got a long part that you want a machine that's too long for your uh, machine price, why not use the built-in uh, V-block that's in your machine? There we are, just clamp that down and away you go. Another quickie done. Hope you like that. Bye. Times that happen to you. Now there's a simple fix for that. Now that snatch happened, I'm, and I'm showing you on a, on a, on a one-inch drill to, 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 to illustrate. Um, that snatch happened because this edge here is too sharp. So what we actually need to do is, is, to, is to put a negative break on that. And the idea is, is, is that if we take an oil stone and you actually hold that flat onto the there at, 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 at the at the similar angle that the that the helix is, and and, and, and stroke across it a few times to uh, to cause a um, to put a flat on it and do the same on, on both cutting edges. Um, I will actually uh, illustrate that on the on the correct size drill. Hope this will. So this is the same size drill you just see me uh, use to to cause this and that. So what we actually need to do is we need to put that on there and give that a few like that, I take it around 180 degrees I don't know if we can catch the light but there's, 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 now a, there's now a break edge on there so what I'll do is I'll put this back and uh, drill another hole so that you can see what the difference is so here we go, same drill, same setup, all I'm going to do, all I've done is, is just stone the edge off jerking or nothing. Um, as I say I've, I've seen a lot of uh, other YouTube people and, and that's, what, that's what drove me to, to, to show you this. Um, the number of other people that say oh watch out I'm going to drill the brass you'll, you'll, you'll see it grab so there's absolutely no need for it. All you need to do is, is backing off the, the, uh, the leading edge of the um, turn that off um, of the drill and of course you also need that for things like uh, pearl specs and acrylic and one or two other bits and pieces that they, they tend to snatch so um, just a nice nice simple tip I mean it takes all of what 30, 30 seconds just to just to stone the flat on it so hope that helps with your um, when drilling brass now because this, this only applies to um, hard brass I mean if you was to drill um, sheet brass what that what they call uh, what it's known as, as half hard brass because you can bend it um, you you don't you don't want this um, relief on it um, you know a, a, a standard drill is fine so that the the swarf comes out in 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 swirls like it does on when drilling steel and aluminium so right yeah I'm sure we must all come across the problem of uh, you have a part that's got a 
for the sawn edge or, or perhaps a casting and you think well you know it's, the, the parallel jaw won't, uh, won't tighten on that so you know usual dodge get a get a piece of round rod or or, or, or welding welding rod snip it up there like that you think well okay ah but how about this much better uh, option steel ball with a flat on it you just pop that uh, in there like that with the with the flat edge up against your your vice door and you just pop it in there tighten it up job done what's even better why not have it if you're worried about pinching your fingers in there why not have one on a on a handle so you just pop that in there like that tighten it up away you go simple now these balls um you can turn them on a on a, on a lathe with a with a carbide tool so you know just uh machine it the best flatness that the that, that, uh, surface finish you can get and just uh, you know just rub it on a on a surface plate or something flat with a bit of with a bit of wet and dry you know to get this get this uh, nice flat finish and uh, and there we are so that's another little um, tip for your uh, brain for future use. Look at what a what a wobble fit the plastic drills cut over size. Oh dear. Oh. How many times has this happened to you? Hey? Eh? Well anyway, I'll show you a nice easy fix for this. Stay tuned. Now what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna run a seven point that was an eight millimeter drill I wanted. It, it, obviously you can change it whatever you want, but I'm I'm now gonna run an, a, a smaller size drill first. So uh, the finishing size is 8mm, so this is going to be a 7.6. actually done with the 8mm drill is I've stoned the make a, I've, I've run an oil stone over this put a radius on this outside edge so that it, it'll stop it digging in so now it, it should cut good to size let's uh, see what happens Fingers crossed. Where's my eight millimeter gauge pin? And yeah, tight fit that. So that's a nice simple dodge. If if, if you need a, a hole that you 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 haven't got a, a reamer for, um, I mean obviously this won't be as accurate as a reamer, but as I say, just by stoning that by drilling it undersized to start with and putting a radius on the on the um, um, uh, corner of the drill uh, as you see it's uh, it's uh, look, no wobble in that at all so hope that uh, helps with your little um, escapades and uh, catch you on the next tip got a long part that you need the machine turn up with them to run a BTI all the way along it, winding your table backwards and forwards simple solution make yourself a couple of these, it's a, it's a plate with a with a, um, with a bolt in it, you just you just drop that into the into the slot open it out there 
do the same with the second one. Put it in there. Put your pile up against it, and it's as, and it's as good as your T slots are machined um, parallel to the die base, to, to your slide base. That should that should be good. You can use them on either side. Um, if you don't want to go to that trouble, um, turn yourself up a couple of. Uh, couple of pins, I'll just use this end as an illustration, but if you turn a couple of uh, pins up, put those in there, do the same job. Easy peasy. I'm counting in a hole. How many times do you come across it? And there slowly we pulled it and some of the speed has been and we've got this terrible, terrible finish. Easy fix. Get yourself a piece of a small square of um, uh, cotton material or even some um, paper tissue. Fold it up several thicknesses thick as per this piece here. You place it on the end of the tool, start her up, now you'll have to feed a little bit heavier um, until, until the uh, the cutting edge breaks through the paper, but there we are. no juggly noises, move that back out of the way, look at that, perfect finish and why is that the reason? Because the paper has stuffed up all the fruits of the uh, of the countersink. Uh, nice simple fix. Uh, you can you say you can do this on a drilling machine as well, but just just be aware that uh, you know don't have this bit of paper too much, or or if you've got um, uh, rag, watch out that it doesn't go around and, and get snarled up on on um, other bits and pieces. But as we see, look, lovely finish, beautiful. That's all, folks.